not as active in the metro area as we saw yesterday. For not storms. quite. We are seeing few storms statewide today, but still a lot of activity on the radar. And we did see a brief shower up in the northeast heights, parts of the metro. Sandia Peak, this is a look at about three hours ago. You can see the cloud cover there. Even a few showers coming down here over in the Sandias, the East Mountains getting a little bit of rain earlier today. You can kind of see the showers showing up here too, looking off into the distance. And right now, still a lot of cloud cover out there and even some showers to talk about. So let's go ahead and get to the radar. Uh, this is a look at what's going on in the metro. We had some really heavy rain move through uh, Los Lunas there earlier, and we're going to continue to see those showers drift on to uh, the north. And as you can see, a wider look here. We have isolated thunderstorms up in the northern mountains, the Sacramento Mountains, the western high terrain, and even down in the southeast over in and around Roswell, really all around Roswell right now. But there's a chance you may see some of that get into your area. Most of the action drifting to the west and northwest fairly slowly, not quite as slow moving as yesterday, but these storms are producing heavy rain. So there is still that potential for flash flooding in the burn scars. And also, you're going to have to watch for those high levels in the arroyos uh, with these storms continuing to develop and becoming a little more widespread. We are starting to lose some of the heating of the day. And so, as those temperatures continue to go down, uh, that's when we'll start to see the thunderstorms start to quiet down a little bit. But right now, still going pretty strongly across the state. 88 degrees right now in the metro. The winds now a lot calmer earlier. We've, we've been looking at gusts up near 30 miles per hour in Albuquerque, but five mile per hour winds now. And again, you can see the cloud cover in the distance. We had some heavy showers over on I 40. And that's starting to calm down in the metro, but the temperature's still quite warm. 88 there, low 90s out across the northeast, 95 in Clovis, 96 in Roswell, and 100 degrees in Carlsbad and Farmington, upper 80s, cooling off from a few showers in and around your area, but still very hot for this time of the year. And yesterday, a lot of new records set. Farmington went all the way up to 99 yesterday afternoon. That heat's sticking around as we start to see the active weather pattern move on out. So for tonight, a few lingering showers, mainly across central and western New Mexico. As we get closer to midnight, those really tapering off. And then tomorrow morning, a dry start by tomorrow afternoon, things change up for us. High pressure moves over us. So that's going to be mainly isolated activity across the northern mountains, the western high terrain. We may see a spot storm or two in the east mountains, but hard pressed with high pressure right over the area. And that's going to be the case for the first half of the weekend. Sunday, a cold front will move through, uh, bringing in a better chance for a few more thunderstorms up in the northeast. But the overall trend here for the next few days is going to be a quieter one. For the four corners tonight, thunderstorms will diminish. We'll be looking at lows in the 50s and 60s with isolated thunderstorms developing again tomorrow afternoon. A few more up toward Durango. Durango looking at a chance for at least a few afternoon thunderstorms for the next seven days. Very spotty near Farmington. South and west, temps tonight down into the 60s and 70s. Less action tomorrow and then a slight uptick in those rain chances in Silver City for Saturday and Sunday. And then we'll keep a decent chance of rain in there next week in the middle part of next week. South and east, we have a few showers around now. Those are going to diminish. Temperatures will fall off into the low 70s and then tomorrow dry weather and the dry weather will stick around through much of next week with the temperatures still close to 100 degrees. North and east, a few thunderstorms are possible tomorrow afternoon. Rain chances increase considerably for Sunday as that cold front approaches up near Las Vegas, but at least a chance for an afternoon thunderstorm for the next five days. Northern mountains, fewer storms tomorrow, though we will see isolated activity. Santa Fe still may see a stray shower tomorrow. Spot activity this weekend. Highs still high in the low 90s. East Mountains, a few spot thunderstorms are possible here tomorrow afternoon, but definitely less than what we have been seeing. And for the metro, slight chance we may see a few thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, but I think we're going to be looking at those rain chances really going down for us and temperatures still staying hot, topping out in the low to mid 90s. So we may see another shower or two tonight, but really the trend's going to be tapering off. All right. Thank you, Kristen. Sports is next.